Vivek Ramaswamy is yet again in the limelight for his remarks on the H-1B visa program. The U.S. presidential candidate has slammed the H-1B visa program for the second time and has called it senseless. In an interview to Politico, Ramaswamy has termed the H-1B visa program as indentured servitude and vowed to gut the lottery-based system and replace it with meritocratic admission if he is elected as the U.S. president next year. But what exactly is H-1B visa? Let me break it down for you. Now, the H-1B visa program is designed to allow skilled foreign workers to come to the United States and work for American companies. H-1B visa is much sought after among Indian IT professionals. It is a non-immigrant visa that allows U.S.-based companies to employ foreign workers. Companies hire thousands of employees every year from countries like India and China with this visa. Though high in demand, this visa requires a long waiting time extending to several years. And Ramaswamy himself has been guilty of using this lottery-based H-1B visa system 29 times in the past. The U.S. Citizenship Immigration Services has approved 29 applications for Ramaswamy's um, Roy Vaughan Sciences to hire employees under H-1B visas from 2018 up till the period of 2023. What will this mean politically as far as Ramaswamy's views are concerned? Let me bring in my guest today. I'm joined in by Amy Tarkanian, who is a former Nevada State GOP chairwoman, also a Republican strategist. Many thanks to you, Amy, for joining in. Now, Ramaswamy calls it a lottery system, to quote him verbatim. He says that it needs to be replaced by actual meritocratic admission. It's a form of indentured servitude. As someone who himself mm. has used the visa program 29 times, you find substance in Ramaswamy's thoughts. No, I think it's a, a big mistake because as you mentioned, it is a lengthy process and you have to have a sponsor. You have to have uh, it's $2,500 just to submit the application. You have to go and turn an application into the U.S. consulate. Uh, I mean, the, it's not easy. You also have to have a bachelor's degree or higher. So I think that it would benefit the United States to have people of that kind of caliber uh, entering our workforce. So I, I disagree with him. Amy, Donald Trump himself blocked hundreds of thousands of foreign workers from U.S. employment. These were part of his sweeping effort to limit immigrants coming to U.S. Now, Ramaswamy, on the other hand, has also said that he would use military force to secure the border and that he would deport U.S.-born children of undocument, uh, undocumented immigrants. Do his beliefs make mm. him an alternate to Trump? Because I do see several parallels in his political outlook when it comes to immigration or even illeg illegal immigrants. Sure. Well, I think what he's doing is he's using talking points because we do have a large amount of illegals that are crossing our border and they're actually being bussed around the nation and people are very concerned. Um, they're, you know, filling up our school system. Um, people are, are concerned about even health issues if, if they have had their vaccines. Um, we've seen an uptick in diseases like polio. And so there are concerns, but I don't see, um, I think that the, the, the visa system, the H-1B visa system is actually a good thing because the people who are jumping over the fences and going through barbed wire, uh, you know, those are not the same type of caliber people and, and they wouldn't be able to fill those same type of jobs. Those are going to be more of your low-level paying jobs. So I think he's trying to mesh the two with the fear and then also with wanting to um, throw something out with red meat to the primary voters. But, but would you also counter the argument that he's calling it a lottery system, one that's not based on meritocracy? And as someone who's mm. also been through the whole, uh, you know, drill of it for 29 times, uh, it does seem like someone who's experienced, uh, you know, the kind of hurdles one might have had to face. And do you still sure. think that uh, he doesn't make sense or hold substance in what he's trying to present over there? No, I, I don't think so at all. And I, I think literally what he's banking on is probably incompetence. 
of people who don't know the difference between what that visa system is used for versus what we're seeing on television with the thousands and thousands of people crossing the border illegally. So I, I think it's a mistake on his part. Amy, be it his foreign policy views on wooing Russia, decoupling with China, and now the H-1B, uh, his approach has been marked by complete overhauling of the system. Will it get him far in the presidential race of 2024? I don't believe so. Depending on the polling that, that you see, he's anywhere, you know, third, fourth place. Um, I, I do know that, that, you know, he's a great speaker, and so you know, a lot of people are impressed by that. But if you actually break down some of the substance, as you and I are doing right now, um, you know, we know better. And so I, I think that's why I said he's banking on incompetence.